He has been eyeing the fish in your pouch this whole time. I think he's going to help himself. Yeah, trust him. Oh. All right, guys. Well, check this out. Christina trusts Duke so much, she will put a fish in his mouth because she knows he will not eat it. What? Is nobody impressed by this? Tough <laughs> oh, yeah. Max can. It's too late for that. We don't want your sympathy. But we say go home, try this with your dog in a steak. Right. Okay, good luck. Christina, let's take this up a notch. Ladies and you gentlemen, see the sea she line. trusts Duke so much, she will put a fish in his mouth and completely no. turn her back all on right, him. Because right, right. she knows when she turns back around, that fish will still be there in Duke's mouth. And that's what we call trust. Ah. On a serious note, it does take a lot of trust to build these relationships with our animals. And Christina and Duke are a great example of that. These two have been working together for years now, and as you guys have seen, they are great pals. The best of friends. A good trainer like Christina will look for various ways to stimulate the animal. This includes mentally, as well as physically. Whoa. The sea lion or the trainer. Hit it! Go, Aiden, go, Aiden, go.